Hello everyone, welcome back to Friday's channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for supporting, guys. Supermoder of the WBC were a heavyweight champion of Britain Tyson Fury Bob Arum in an interview with a popular YouTube channel about boxing expressed his opinion about the reasons for the breakdown of the fight between former heavyweight champions Anthony Joshua and American Deontay Wilder. The American functionary believes that the reason is money and is sure that if the fighters can moderate their monetary appetites, their duel will take place. I am also reminded of another fighter who should be reared into the equation. I read that the Joshua Wilder fight completely broke down. This is a very good question, but I don't know the answer for sure. However, as if I know, someone who knows what's going on there, they were dealing with a kind of skill challenge intermediary. If skill challenge was doing a Joshua Wilder fight, they would have to go for the money and they didn't have a chance to get the money. So the fight fell apart. Do you still consider Wilder and Joshua as a top heavyweights? Is this still the final four of the heavyweight division? Not really. We need to understand exactly what place the Chinese guy occupies here. It seems that Chang Jili belongs to this cohort. He had a great performance against Joe Joyce. Once again, I don't like to talk about the top four, top five, top six. Joshua is a top heavyweight. Wilder is a top heavyweight, his punches are dangerous for anyone, but the Chinese guy should also be included in this list, Iron said. Anthony Joshua agreed to a duel with uh, Zhang Zhili in China. At the hearing representing the interest of former world heavyweight boxing champion Anthony Joshua, announced that the Britons' readiness to fight Zhang Zhili in China. Anthony and Wilder's fight should take place in the spring or next year, but there is quite a lot of time before this fight so Anthony will have time to fight in December. You are talking about a high-profile fight in China? Then Joshua is ready to meet with Zhang Zhili. Anthony Joshua entered the ring for the last time on August 12th. Then he knocked out Robert Hilenius in the seventh round. Early this April, the Britain defeated Jermaine Franklin on points. In total, AJ has 26 wins and 3 losses in the professional ring. Zhang Zhili has 26 matches won, 1 draw and 1 defeat in his career. Zhili vs Wilder fight? It can be easily arranged. Zhang Zhili's coach is sure. Taking into account the fact that Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua cannot agree in any way, Sean George, the coach of the temporary WBO heavyweight world champion Zhang Zhili from China, has switched his attention to Wilder and now really wants him to become Zhang Zhili's next opponent. I want Zhang Zhili to stay active, George noted. Joe Fury, the feather of British heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, has changed his mind about the outcome of a possible duel between ex heavyweight champions Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. If in May of this year John was sure that Joshua would knock out Wilder, now he thinks of the opposite side. AJ knocks out Wilder, Fury is to our side, because Wilder can't uh, hold the punches that fall on the side of his head. Tyson, the Gypsy King, broke his skull. If all gets there too, there will be a knockout. And here is what John said early in an interview on Rob Moore's YouTube channel. Wilder is not my favorite. He is a terrible athlete, like a big kid. You've seen how he behaves when he loses. But can this person strike? Yes, it can. Does he have a pair of balls? Definitely. You can't stick your chin out and let Wilder hit it because he will send you to sleep forever. Ever. Only the Gypsy King Tyson Fury can withstand the power of Wilder. Fury's father continues. Look at Hellenius, 30 seconds. And uh, that's all from a short blow. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.